Okay, so I got a message from Mantis that she left something in my house. Okay, so I remember this from her video. Uh, she had something like this from Hungry Squid. Ike, you have been selected to become the next Squid Belt trainee. In order to prove yourself worthy of becoming the next Squid Belt, you must complete the following. You must create a functioning redstone bouncy room at spawn and have Cranky Calamari use it. I look forward to see what you do as the next Squid Belt trainee. Mantis. Okay, so we need to build a bouncy castle. While I'm pondering that, let's actually run over to the Coliseum. I got some work to do over there, and I want to show you what this looks like in this new shaders, this BSL. It's pretty fantastic. And I just seen a creeper. <laughs> oh, death to creeper. <laughs> All right, now that we're at the Coliseum, what do you guys think about these shaders? I think they look pretty awesome. And I got over here with Crafting Mantis, and we talked about some different things I could do with the uh, walls and the diagonal bits. And I'm excited for this project again, and I'm ready to get motivated on it. But look what I've done, guys. I'm sure you've already spotted it. The lanterns hanging from the spider heads that we've got on the zombies. And I think that's going to look pretty amazing. It's a whole lot better than just torches on the floor. And so now this entire floor down here is spawn-proof without a single torch. And this just brings out the fantasy and the magic of this area. I love it. Yeah, so we've been dealing with these chest monsters out here for a while. And so I really just need to get a storage room built before I can work on any of the inspiration for this build. I struggle with little projects like this because I always want to make them amazing, but really keeping things simple and I like to go by the motto sometimes that done is just really better than perfect so I guess keeping it simple really is just gonna help me be able to get all this stuff out of these chests and put away where we can actually work with this space other than that I would just be juggling chests all the time and I don't want to do that well now that all the chests are out of the way we can really start putting a frame around the Coliseum here it's going to trim it up and give us a walkway, and it's also going to make areas for some details that I want to add that are really going to give this Coliseum the charm that I was looking for. Glad I finally figured it out, to be honest. So you may or may not have been able to tell from the time lapse that we didn't fill in the walls down here, and that's because I ran out of stone. This was quite a bit of stone brick. This is a 12-sided perimeter here. I don't even know what you would call that. It's definitely not a hexagon or octagon, but whatever you call a 12-sided perimeter. And so because of that, I'm spending some time digging out of this area here, and because also the next thing I'm going to do in this area is going to revolve some granite, I am going to just go ahead and clean up this section here and get as much stone out of it as I can, because I do want to decorate this, but it was awfully rough in here and uh, that diorite looks pretty bad. So I'm gonna be spending some time picking up the granite, smoothing this out, and uh, we might get back to decorating it later, but we might as well get out the blocks we need when we need them from where we're gonna have to dig anyways. Okay, so I stoned up the underneath part and I've added some different designs here. I uh, kinda want your feedback on, so hopefully you got some ideas. So basically this one is adding some jungle logs with the fences on the inside. This side is the jungle logs with trapdoors here. Right there. Looks pretty decent there. And then over here on this side I've done some different things. I didn't add. I took away and added andesite or jungle or just leave it all stone brick. So I'm not exactly sure which one I want to go to. I, uh, I would love some feedback there, see what you guys like, but for now I'm going to skip ahead and build some statues. That's right, it's part of the reason why we built these walkways, is I want to throw some statues up on the corners here. And then after that, I believe I'm about ready to go build the bouncy castle. Yeah, so I came up with these statues because I needed something to add detail to these straight diagonal edges. And I'd seen Gold Robin's villager statues that he'd been building, so I took a lot of inspiration from that. I was like, well, I could, maybe I can come up with something from a diagonal standpoint. And that turned out. And now these statues can represent the peoples that would have built this coliseum, really. Warriors, agricultural, natives to the area, to this jungle. And I think it ties in perfectly, and it makes this 
a coliseum just really fit together and it's added so much inspiration uh to get back building on this thing that i was i was lacking on to be honest at this point because it's such a huge project every now and then you got to take a break come back and something will spark it again as we're flying back into spawn, I've got to find an area for this bouncy castle, but it strikes me that we haven't actually checked on the shops in quite a while. So I'm going to go at least check and see if there's any sales made, if anything is out of stock, which it looks like our sugar cane is again. So somebody had to have bought that. We'll have to restock it. Yes, yeah, so we got three diamonds here, and I'm assuming that was all the sugar cane. So I will restock it. Might, might have been Sunfire that bought it, because I know he was needing some. Uh, so we got some diamond profit there and some there. I'll split this up with Adela off camera. And have we sold any more of these? We have. Okay, cool. So there's also some more shops over here. Mad Dog has built a, uh, a lovely little ship here. And, oh, I about fell in the water. Bargain box, mending books, one diamond. Ooh, so I've got three diamonds. I'm probably going to buy three of these just because I can. And there's some different stuff here. I think all this is one diamond. Let's just see. Full set of armor, three diamonds each. There's some different stuff here. Oh, the paper in it says, doesn't it? All stacks, one diamond. So all this stuff is uh, one diamond a piece. Oh, I, I guess we got to crouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ores, one diamond a stack. Books, all one diamond. Okay, so there's some really cool stuff. So we have this Mad Dog's Storehouse and Importers. Oh, he's got a whole other shop here. Okay, so I have not actually seen this yet. Ink sacks, bone block. Oh, he's making he's making a killing here. Ye old bookshop, and this is crafting mantis's place. It looks very fantastic. And I don't know what these say. Oh, they're just for looks. So we can buy all these. They have five diamonds a piece. Uh, these are all traded for uh, books. And so anything we need should be here and ready to go. So there's one of the shop here I know for sure from Race Crafter, our newest member. And I'd like to give him a formal welcome here. And this guy pops up when you come into the shop here, which is pretty cool. And so basically for three diamonds, we can pay for an AFK session at our farm. And uh, <laughs> I should have saved my three diamonds for this occasion, but we're going to go ahead and pay him because uh, we're going to we're going to set up some uh, AFK sessions here. We actually have just enough to pay him twice here with these diamonds. And so I've uh, figured out how to do this. We're giving the courts to the iron farm AFK there first. And then the second would be at the gas farm. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this in there. I've already put the diamonds in. And we'll put it right there that way. That's six diamonds for uh, two AFK jobs. So uh, I've, I've already sent screenshots to the gas farm to um, race crafters. Hopefully you can figure that. If not, you know, he knows how to get a hold of me. So now onto the jumpy castle. Yeah, so I wasn't sure exactly where to put it. But it seemed like this area over here was really clear. So I began to clear the trees and put out my jump pad. And then I began to build the jumpy castle. I took the inspiration from Mantis's gatehouse over by the massive castle. And then I just kind of did some archways in it and it made it look a lot like a realistic jumpy castle if you could do that out of stone anyways. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so I think it looks pretty fantastic. I've got a lot of work over here I still want to do. Uh, but I do have the redstone done. I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, yeah, I've dug this tunnel out here and had to cut quite a few trees down. I hope Squid's okay with that, or Cranky Calamari, as he's renamed himself. He, he said he planted a bunch of trees here to keep his build from looking bad. Which, quite frankly, I think it looks pretty amazing myself. Uh, but I'm going to be doing some more landscaping here. I'll probably put a tree back here where he had one. Um, and a lot more trees and plants and stuff down here. I just wanted to get a basic path layout and everything. Uh, and hopefully I'll have that done before I get Cranky Calamari on here. But I don't know. What do you guys think about how the uh, castle turned out? Because I really do. I really do like it. Uh, I threw the iron bars in there uh, for the windows there. And yeah, underneath here I've done the redstone. Yeah, so I got waterlogged chest under here. Uh, that way, if anybody falls on the part that's not slime, they don't get hurt. And these uh, furnaces here are touching the slime, and I'm gonna actually going to put some more in here to fill all this in. I just wanted to show you the redstone first. 
And basically, where these cobble are with the pistons, I just got them uh, powered with a repeater there. And we've got this uh, decay clock here, which is just long enough to uh, allow the player to stop bouncing before the pistons go again. So let's turn it on and have a look at it, and we'll get Cranky Calamari over here soon uh, to, to be on it. Aha! Bouncy, 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 bouncy. So about the time I stop here, it should go again. Yeah, there we go. It's like perfectly timed, at least on my connection. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Ike. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!